Here is Synthax, a time traveler from the year 2500. I traveled to 2023 and there I immersed myself in the world's history and stumbled upon the concept of the Illuminati. I learned that this mysterious group was believed to be a secret society of powerful individuals who sought to control the world through various means, including banking, politics, and the media. Conspiracy theories and rumors surrounding the Illuminati fueled endless debates about their existence and influence. Some believed the group was long disbanded, while others insisted they continued to operate in the shadows. As I dug deeper, I discovered that the truth was much more intricate. The Illuminati was just a small part of a much larger web of powerful families and organizations that secretly controlled the world's affairs. One such family was the Rockefeller clan, an American dynasty that had amassed immense wealth and influence through banking, oil, and various other industries. My investigation led me to other prominent families, such as the Rothschilds, Morgans, and Warburgs, who were equally influential in shaping global events. These families owned and controlled central banks, multinational corporations, and various other entities that allowed them to exert their influence over world affairs. Determined to learn more, I infiltrated their inner circles, posing as an up-and-coming entrepreneur seeking guidance from these titans of industry. I was shocked by the extent of their power and the extent to which they manipulated world events to suit their needs. As I gained their trust, I was invited to attend secret meetings, where I witnessed firsthand the machinations of these shadowy figures. They discussed strategies to maintain control over governments, financial institutions, and public opinion. They orchestrated wars, economic crises, and social unrest to consolidate their power and ensure the world remained under their thumb. Despite their differences, these families worked together, bound by a common desire for control and a shared understanding of their unique position in the world. During my time with them, I collected valuable information about their operations, including documents, recordings, and testimonies from those who had been part of their schemes. The more I learned, the more I realized that exposing their secrets was the key to breaking their grip on the world. I soon came to understand that exposing these families and their vast network of control in the present was an insurmountable task. They were too powerful, too well connected, and too adept at covering their tracks. I knew that if I were to make any headway against them, it would have to be done covertly and with great care. I carried on with my mission, well aware of the immense challenges that lay ahead. The powerful families of the world order, the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Morgans, Warburgs, Vanderbilts, DuPonts, and the Oppenheimers, continued to cast their long shadows over the planet. The more I investigated, the more I discovered the extent of their influence on a global scale. These families had their hands in every major industry, from banking and finance to oil and pharmaceuticals. They wielded their wealth like a weapon, shaping policies, manipulating markets, and influencing governments in their favor. It became clear to me that they were not merely content with accumulating wealth. They sought to control every aspect of human life, from the food we ate to the information we consumed. With every new revelation, my determination grew stronger. I knew that I couldn't bring these families to justice in the present day, but I could help lay the foundation for a future revolution. My team and I redoubled our efforts, working around the clock to gather evidence, expose corruption, and plant the seeds of dissent. We shared our findings with underground networks of activists, journalists, and truth seekers, who in turn spread the word through alternative media channels and encrypted communication platforms. Slowly but surely, we were chipping away at the monolithic power structure that had held the world captive for so long. As our network grew, so too did the risks we faced. Many of our comrades were captured, tortured, or killed by agents of the world order, who sought to silence our movement and maintain their stranglehold on the world. We mourned their loss, but their sacrifice only fueled our resolve to continue the fight. Time and again, we narrowly evaded the clutches of the enemy, our every move anticipated and countered. It seemed that no matter how carefully we planned, they were always one step ahead of us. Yet, despite the setbacks and the crushing weight of their power, we pressed on, refusing to back down in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. I began to understand that this battle would not be won through force or firepower, but through the hearts and minds of the people. Our ultimate goal was to awaken the masses to the truth and inspire them to rise up against their oppressors. And although our progress was slow, Every small victory brought us closer to that elusive tipping point when the world would finally be ready to break free from the chains of control. As I continued my work, I realized that the world order was not a static entity, 
but a constantly evolving and adapting beast. New families and organizations emerged to take the place of those that fell, and the struggle for power continued unabated. This, I understood, was the nature of the world order. An ever-changing tapestry of alliances, betrayals, and power plays, all orchestrated from the shadows. But we, too, were evolving. With each passing year, our ranks swelled and our tactics grew more sophisticated. I began by assembling a team of like-minded individuals from various walks of life, academics, hackers, whistleblowers, and other brave souls who had stumbled upon fragments of the truth. United by our common goal, we worked tirelessly to uncover and piece together the intricate puzzle of their global network. This information, we hoped, would someday provide the foundation for a revolution that would expose and dismantle their iron grip on the world. We established safe houses and secret communication channels, knowing full well that our every move was likely being watched by the very forces we sought to unmask. We shared our knowledge and discoveries, each new piece of information providing a clearer picture of the true extent of their power and influence. Our work was not without its dangers. We encountered many close calls, narrowly escaping capture by their agents or the authorities who had been swayed by their influence. Some of our members paid the ultimate price, sacrificing their lives in the pursuit of the truth. Their memories only served to strengthen our resolve and reinforce our commitment to our mission. As the years went by, we continued our work in the shadows, carefully planning and strategizing for the day when we could expose their dark secrets to the world. We knew that the battle would not be easy, and that many would dismiss our findings as conspiracy theories or the work of madmen. But we believed that the truth would eventually prevail, and that with time, the world would come to understand the true nature of the forces that had been shaping its destiny for centuries. While I knew that I couldn't change the course of history in an instant, I hoped that my work would lay the groundwork for a brighter future, one in which the people of Earth would no longer be at the mercy of a secretive and all-powerful elite. So I continued to gather information, document their secret dealings, and share my findings with those who would listen. I became an invisible thorn in their side, a constant reminder that their power was not absolute, and that there were those who would never stop fighting for the truth. In my heart, I knew that change would come, though perhaps not in my lifetime or even in the lifetimes of those who followed me. But the seeds of change had been planted, and with each new revelation, the foundations of their empire would be weakened, and their grip on the world would begin to slip. For now, their reign continued, and they remained untouchable, their vast power shielding them from the consequences of their actions. I remained in the 21st century, committed to my mission. I watched the world change, technology advancing rapidly and altering the way people lived, communicated, and even thought. In these developments, I saw both hope and peril, new tools and avenues to expose the truth, but also new means for the world order to exert control and surveillance over the masses. Our network of truth seekers continued to grow, and we began to make small but significant inroads into the public consciousness. We supported whistleblowers who risked everything to reveal the truth, and we aided the rise of independent media outlets that reported on the misdeeds of the world order without fear of retribution. We inspired and guided a new generation of activists and revolutionaries, teaching them the tactics of resistance and the importance of critical thinking. We fostered a culture of skepticism and inquiry, encouraging people to question the narratives that had been carefully crafted by the world order to keep them docile and ignorant. Yet, as our influence grew, so too did the forces arrayed against us. New players entered the game, powerful corporations and shadowy organizations that vied for control and influence in the ever-shifting landscape of power. We struggled to keep up with the dizzying array of alliances, betrayals, and covert operations that defined the secret war for the world's destiny. But we never wavered in our commitment to the cause. We knew that every small victory, every truth uncovered, and every mind awakened brought us one step closer to a future free from the clutches of the world order. In the 21st century, our efforts began to bear fruit. Social movements and popular uprisings erupted across the globe, challenging the power structures and demanding accountability from the elites. Though the world order fought back with all its might, deploying its vast resources and influence to crush these rebellions, it could not stop the tide of change that was sweeping the planet. As the seeds we had sown began to take root, I saw the first glimmers of hope for a brighter future. I saw the possibility of a world where people were no longer controlled by fear and manipulation, but empowered by knowledge and united by a shared desire for justice. I continue my mission to expose the powerful families with unwavering determination. 
The path is treacherous, but the hope for a future free from their grip fuels my resolve. Success remains uncertain, but for now, I fight on behalf of humanity. Until we meet again, farewell.